How's it going? Uh, just doing a quick video showing uh, Ubuntu 10.10, uh, Maverick Meerkat running on a Hewlett Packard TC uh, 4400 tablet. Um, everything on this has worked uh, pretty much out of the box. It's been uh, a pretty smooth uh, install, one of the easiest ones I've done so far, actually. It's, it's been really, really good. Uh, a few things weren't working. Um, one of which was the, uh, the, the the only one that really majorly affected me was the uh, the scroll wheel. Um, I actually had to write a script to uh, to get that uh, to get that working. There it is, right there. That's all you need to do. Uh, pseudo set key codes E006103 and E007108, and that'll set the uh, the little thumb wheel uh, to uh, up and down to to navigate pages. You can also set it to uh, page up and page down if you wanted to as well. Uh, to do that, you just change it to uh, E006104 and E007109, and that'll be page up and page down instead of regular up and down. I do up and down just because um, page up, page down is just a little too fast for me, so uh, I like just the up and down um, key movement a little bit better. Uh, other things that, that didn't work are the um, your three shortcut uh, Wacom uh, buttons. Th those aren't even red in the... Um, in the kernel, as best I can tell, I, I can't find any inputs for them anywhere. So, but they're, it's not a huge deal. I really had never planned on really using them. I have uh, my on-screen keyboard uh, right down here, and uh, it works just fine for me. It it, it uh, does what I needed to do uh, when I needed to do it. Most of the time, I'm just watching a video or browsing through web pages or watching, you know, uh, YouTube videos or playing a Facebook game. So, I really don't need the um, I really don't need that keyboard that often. So. Uh, it's not a huge deal for me. Uh, the other thing that, that uh, won't work is in tablet mode. I'm in tablet mode right now, but I'm using uh, my, my microphone that I have is, uh, is an external mic. The internal mic, the built-in microphone, uh, when you rotate it to tablet mode, just disappears. The system can't see it. It mutes it. It's just gone like a fart in the wind. It's just, it's out of there. Um, not a huge deal. I really hadn't planned on using this thing for Skype or anything like that in tablet mode, so not a huge deal and this little uh, five dollar uh, external mic that I have right now that plugs into the mic port on the side works just fine for me so uh, not really gonna miss that too much uh, one of the things that does work that some people say doesn't work is uh, is the eraser on your uh, on your stylus uh, to get that working uh, you just go to uh, I'm in GIMP right now. Most of the stuff you're going to be doing is going to be in GIMP, I, I would hope, because uh, GIMP's awesome. But uh, input devices, configure extended input devices, and then uh, down here for serial Wacom eraser and stylus, uh, for the mode, just set both of them to screen. For stylus, oops, and eraser to screen. And that'll have it working. Then all you need to do is just, uh, with the eraser end of your stylus, just tap the eraser, and then tap the, um, with the, with your regular inner stylus, tap the tool you want to use. It will save that eraser setting. So you can do whatever you want. You can, you know, uh, do a little smiley face or whatever. And uh, this is with the stylus end facing. You see it's still stylus. And then just rotate it around and reads the eraser. Works just fine. Then rotate it back around, and you got your stylus again. So that does actually work. So don't let them tell you otherwise. It works just fine. You actually just have to set the tool, uh, set the eraser into the eraser. You can actually set the eraser into anything you want. It just makes sense for me to have the eraser in be the, you know, eraser. Other than that, everything's been uh, everything's been great. I haven't really had uh, really any problems out of this. Oh, I about forgot. I almost forgot the thumbprint scanner. I was looking at it right now. Uh, the thumbprint scanner that does work. Also, you have to download. Um, I don't know why I went to uh, administration. You have to download a fingerprint GUI, and that'll get you going. And then you just select which finger you want, scan it, and uh, you can verify to make sure you got a good scan. Uh, problem I have is my right thumb is always uh, hit or miss with it, but it does actually work just fine. Let me go into uh, package manager. Uh, my, my my left thumb is usually like nine out of ten times it'll work. So let's see here. There we go. Red are just fine. First time, no problem. 
And uh, so that works also. I about forgot that. I just noticed it looking down. Um, everything, everything's been been great. It's been a really seamless install. It's been really good. Um, I did uh, my, my typical stuff that I do. I don't like the the gnome panel. I blew it away and I, I uh, replaced it with Cairo Dock, which works just fine for me. Uh, it does come with Compiz installed. I disabled most of Compiz. The only thing I have running out of Compiz is the um, your window open and close, and then your minimize and maximize animations. That's those are the, the only effects I have running right now out of Compiz. Everything else has been pretty much useless. I also have the uh, the Emerald uh, window decorator installed just because I like the way it looks. Other than that, I really don't use a lot of flashy stuff. It's it's just uh, it's just a waste for me, just waste cycles. Um, I have uh, everything I need right here, everything that a little, little grown boy needs, I've got right here. You know, Cairo Doc that has all my RSS feeds over here, it has uh, my little, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, I always blank on this stuff when I'm trying to think of it off the top of my head, but this is actually part of Cairo Doc also, it shows my programs I have running. Um, I've got everything I, I, I really need, and what's nice about the computer also is it's just powerful enough. It's not super powerful, but it's just powerful enough to run my MKV format videos uh, pretty much hiccup free, which is a first for me because these things are, are, I don't know why people use these, I really hate them. It's basically an AVI file and text file wrapped inside of a, a little package, but it doesn't act like that. It acts like an AVI file and a text file wrapped inside of a package that's been zipped, tarred, rarred, put inside of an LGH, crapped on, pissed on, and then running from that. It's absolutely a horrible, horrible format. I hate it, but that's what everybody goes to for anime, so. Well, you can see she runs uh, just fine. Um, even full screen does just fine. It'll, it'll, it'll glitch you have a lot of stuff running in the background. You will get your stutter and your pop and whatnot like that because I am running you know my my, uh, my desktop recorder but um, overall just really great um, love it uh, I really don't know what else to say about it it's been an absolutely great install I love it the only thing that really sucks is you can see right now it's Wednesday uh, April 6 and I'm running on 1010 what I'm not looking forward to is uh, 11 1104 I'm, um, so I'm just, I'm probably going to stay with 1010 for a while and, and run 1104 from a thumb drive or something and see what goes on, but I'm really just paranoid about them breaking something. They, uh, you know, I love the Ubuntu team, I, I love Linux in general, but they have such a bad habit of breaking stuff that was working uh, with, with every uh, release. So what's working is working, I'm going to try to keep it working. Um, I really don't know what else to say about it, absolutely. Uh, like I said, I absolutely love this install. It's been great for me. Everything's everything's worked out of the box that I've needed working. Uh, I think when I when I first did the install, I can't remember what it was. It was something fairly major. Either the stylus wasn't working, or the audio wasn't working. I couldn't remember which one. But I you know I ran my updates, uh, rebooted, it, and she came right up. So that was the only only major hiccup I have. Everything else has been little tweaks and stuff like that. Stuff that I don't really need. But that I I, uh, I convince myself that I, I do need like the uh, the thumb wheel, and uh, and the rotation, which I, I about forgot is handled by uh, it's handled by a little script package called Magic Rotation. You can search for it. it's Magic M I uh, M A G I C K. Sorry, I I do actually have Tourette, so I'd, that was my first hiccup. I was hoping to make it through this video without it, but whatever. Uh, Magic Rotation and uh, for the TC4400. Uh, the BIOS hinge switch value is reversed. Uh, you want to go ahead and flag that. That is true for uh, for this computer. And then when you do that, uh, your screen will start up. Um, I completely forgot about this. I'm sorry. I'm going to play catch up here. Uh, your screen will start up uh, inverted, even in um, even in uh, uh, laptop mode. So you'll want to go through and do a quick little a quick little startup uh, application. All that all that is going to do is uh, go to your your magic rotation fo folder and find the X rotate Python and uh, run that with a uh, with the uh, the normal flag and that'll as soon as you come up it'll it'll flop your flop your uh, screen back around to where it should be I can almost forgot about that but that's uh, that's pretty much it I think I'm, I'm getting close to time here so I'm gonna go ahead and call it off but um, 
if you do have a TC4400, I would highly recommend uh, Ubuntu, at least Ubuntu 1010. Uh, when 1104 comes out later on this month, uh, we'll see. But uh, I, I will definitely recommend Ubuntu uh, 1010 Maverick Meerkat. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and cut this video off. So you guys, uh, you take it easy. Have a good one. Later.